Hey, Commerce Minute listeners, want to share your opinions, give feedback, or tell us what you're thinking? Send us a voice message. Voice messages are an easy way for you to send us audio that might end up in a future episode of the E-Commerce Minute. They're the latest feature from Anchor, the platform we use to make this podcast. So what can you do with voice messages? You can send us show suggestions, ask questions, make comments on previous episodes, or just send us some love. You can send us a voice message right now from wherever you're listening. Just tap the link in the show notes. We can't wait to hear from you. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode is brought to you by SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. Save time and money no matter what you ship or mail with SendPro Online software. Print shipping labels and stamps right from your desk and access discounted rates for as low as $4.99 a month. Try it free for 30 days and get a free 10-pound scale when you visit pb.com slash minute. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience the better way to ship with a free trial of SendPro Online from Pitney Bowes. It's e-commerce minute episode 472. In today's episode, Walmart is going big on pet care. It sure is. The world's biggest retailer is launching an online pet pharmacy and will expand its in-store veterinary clinics. Walmart's online pet pharmacy is walmartpetrx.com, similar to petsmartschewy.com that will deliver pet meds straight to your door. The site now offers discounted prescriptions for more than 300 brands for dogs, cats, horses, and livestock. Orders costing more than $35 will qualify for Walmart's free two-day shipping. The retailer has also expanded its online assortment to include more organic and grain-free pet food options, including a private label brand with ingredients such as farm-raised chicken. Walmart already operates 21 veterinary clinics in six states and will open nine more in Texas later this month and in June in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The clinics will offer services such as exams, vaccinations, and treatments for minor illnesses at discounts of up to 60% off. In the next 12 months, the retailer will have a total of 100 clinics up and running. It's no secret why Walmart is going all in on pet care, as Americans will spend $75 billion on pets this year, an industry group estimates. The moves also have Walmart competing with PetSmart's online business, Chewy.com, which also has an online pharmacy. Chewy.com recently filed papers with regulators to ready for initial public offering. Walmart. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. A little disclaimer, we actually worked for Pet360, which was purchased by PetSmart, which also had a pharmacy. Yeah. So there's that. (laughs) Well, this is kind of interesting that they're getting into that game. Well, you see why. That's where the money is. I always mm-hmm. tell anybody, I have friends that are like, oh, what kind of business should I start? I'm like, anything with pets or old people. <laughs> or babies. Or babies, yeah. If you ever want to like make money, do something with pets. Because I think what's happening now, I like to say the millenniums, the millenniums aren't having kids because, well, they can't afford it. So instead, they just get their fur babies. And what do they do? They spoil their fur babies and buy stupid outfits and all kinds of stuff. So mm-hmm. Definitely not me, but there's this. Yeah. As yeah. millennials delay traditional milestones like getting married, buy a house, or having children, they're choosing to be pet owners instead, it says here. <laughs> so in a world where raising kids is a six-figure undertaking, undertaking spoiling a pet, is less expensive. Well, yes, obviously. Um, but <laughs> still, it's interesting. So wait, are we not going to have a baby boomer type of thing in a few years? A boom of babies or a boom of pet babies? I think we're going to have a boom <laughs> of pet babies. Uh, funny <laughs> funny enough, the birds are chirping. <laughs> the birds are chirping. They're, they're seen in, oh. in medicine. So yeah, I mean, this is obviously they're going after it as a, as a, a good business model. I mean, it's amazing that they didn't do this yet. Um, you know, I mean, they have everything now. Yeah, I mean, they've always had they've always had a pet aisle. Walmart's always had a pet aisle, and it's always been just kind of like mm, there's a couple bags of dog food and some half dead fish, mm, whatever. Half-dead but the fish. fact that <laughs> but the fact that they're you know, carving out actual space within their retail footprint, uh, that's a big commitment. That is not a small thing, ladies and gentlemen, to rejigger a store and say, okay, now 500 square feet are going to be part of the pet department because now you got to let the pets in the store and your rules kind of change for that. And now all of a sudden you're going to see a lot of animals in Walmart. Um, well, it makes sense. I mean, people, you know, why would you want to do trips to multiple stores if you can just go to Walmart in a big Walmart and get everything there? That's precisement, sir. But 
like I said, they're tr- trying to capture that dollar and they don't want you going to PetSmart. They want you to come to Walmart and walmart.com on Walmart. What was it? What was the URL? Walmart, walmartpetrx.com. And here we have stat time. It's well known that millennials are struggling with student debt, but those who own pets aren't skimping when it comes to feeding and caring for their four-footed family members. Millennials may have student debt, but according to DT Ameritrade, they still spend as much as $1,200. And eighty-five dollars a year on their dogs. Over the last year, fourteen percent of millennials bought a luxury item in a pet care category. Not far from the eighteen percent of millennials who made luxury purchases on children's items, reported Bobilia, citing stats from Anatol. And last stat, according to Fashionista, millennials are spending more than four hundred dollars a year on designer dog clothes. <laughs> Okay, Aww. buy my dog a little Superman costume. Oh, such a cute puppy on the front page of that site. Adorbs, adorbs. All right, I'm going to tell you about our sponsor, Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. Guys, what have we been telling you? You got to stop wasting time waiting in line to send those mail on packages. Avoid all that confusion trying to find the best postal rates for your business. With Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes, you can send packages and mail without leaving your office. It's in the title, Send Pro Online. It's online. You can do it right from your desk from four dollars ninety nine cents a month. You'll save time and money no matter what you send, from letters to packages to overnights. And here's the features and benefits. Starting at $4.99 a month, you can print shipping labels and stamps right from your printer. Easily compare rates using the online software. Gain access to special USPS savings for letters and priority mail shipping. Plus, you can track all of your shipments because that's important. If you send it and you don't know where it went, this, this is the key. You'll get an email notification when it's arrived. And for being a loyal e-commerce minute listener, you'll receive a free 30-day trial to get started and an added bonus, a free 10-pound scale ship right to your door to help you accurately weigh packages. Go to pb.com slash minute to access this special offer and get a free 30-day trial plus a free 10-pound scale to get started. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience the better way to ship with a free trial of Send Pro Online from Pitney Bowes. Any closing thoughts on the Walmart pets? <laughs> There's cats running all over the <laughs> The birds have stopped chirping now. The cats have to the birds away. Aww. All right. All right. We'll keep an eye on this one. Uh, you know, like we said, Walmart's been making a lot of moves lately, trying to keep up with that big A, the big A in the sky, Amazon.com. So we'll see what they do with this. Um, I mean, 100 clinics isn't a lot. It's like steering a big ship. Uh, 100 clinics out of their total store count isn't a lot. But I think it's significant enough that they are making the making the commitment into the investment of carving up pieces of store real estate to do this. So that is my two cents. You got anything else? No, that's all. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. <laughs>